we just got into our spot here. This is our first big kind of adventure of the year, really. We're up in Alaska, and uh, we've got five of us. There's myself, Kayim, behind the camera. We've got my daughter, Paley, and we've got Dalton and Tabitha, his wife. And um, we're up here chasing blacktail. And as you can see, it's a pretty cool spot. Yeah, landed on this pothole behind us. We're seeing a lot of bucks, small bucks so far, but we've only been here probably an hour and we got camp set up. But uh, it's kind of a whole new experience for us. We met Dalton and his wife last year. We were out hunting moose and we got, we reached out and said if there's anybody in town, uh, come out to eat with us. And they showed up and uh, we've gotten to know them pretty well. They've become good friends. And this is our first hunt together, so thought we'd do a, do a blacktail hunt. So that's what we're after. We've all got tags, we've got a handful of days and we're in a pretty special spot it looks like. But these mountains are steep and um, pretty excited to see what's out here. I feel like you need to step up your game. Let's check this video out. Right oh, I remember those. Yeah? I remember those from, I think I was like 15. <laughs> <laughs> they still work though, right? <laughs> There's no weight penalty, and you just no. you just look cool, you know. Somebody's just like, I wonder how hot it is. I can just be like, well, I got the temperature right there. How hot is it? I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when the wind picks up? Well, I can see it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> make them like that anymore folks they really don't well you guys were eating dinner a nice buck over there so we need to go find him stop eating start hunting
just got a little bit of quartering to us right now. Yeah. Right behind that shoulder, Kay. Okay. Is it good right now? You're good. If you're steady, you can shoot. What's the uh, what's the plan here? <laughs> hey, we shot this really nice mature buck, and he sprinted off this hill and went into the water and died on us. It's like a moose would. So I raced back to camp and got my spinning rod, and I'm gonna see if I can't snag him and pull him to shore. You think Castmaster, Pixie, Buzz Bomb? Let's see what's biting you like. <laughs> Bangtail? You never know. Something with a trouble hook on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if this doesn't happen, one of us is going in, swimming out there and grabbing him. Fishing for deer. Bailey, you pulled the trigger. You handle the cold pretty well, P. You do this with mom, don't you? The cold stuff? <laughs> Man, if only you would have packed that raft. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but I've been thinking it. Wow. Yeah, I've lucked out. Blacktail. My first blacktail <laughs> on a castmaster. <laughs> oh, I think I got him right in the head, right in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it bit it. You good eat. It. It's a good eat. <laughs> Did it actually get in the mouth? Yeah. Yes, I did. Right <laughs> <laughs> on the mouth. I lost him. <laughs> I'll grab the net. <laughs> Stud. Oh, yeah. Antlers are slick. Oh, yeah. What a nice body. Haley, that too. shot is perfect. Yeah. Look at where that came out. Man, that is like picture perfect shot. Hey, look at that shot. Uh -huh. That is, you couldn't have set that any better. Dude, which side did I shoot from? That one. That one. Unless it just. Was... That's the entrance. I thought it was a little low when I saw, but man, that is like. Yeah. That's right, right. Just perfect. It was a cool story. We're not at camp yet, don't say that. It's only because you didn't have to run down to camp and grab got, the rod. Yeah, we still got a night hike and... Okay. Yeah. Well, 
And that hill is steep and it's getting wetter. Yeah. Yeah. In a minute. Yep. We're gonna have to. Well, can take you it not slow. say it's not a cool story? Oh, it's a cool story. It is that. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not often you get to secure your buck with the cast master. Yep. <laughs> a little ugly stick there. And you caught him ethically. <laughs> I did. Right in the mouth. He took the bait. Alright, well, kill kid out. I like the nice double throat patches. Yeah. And they completely change colors later in the fall. Yeah. Get like a real red antler to them because they rub on all that alder and willow. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we uh, we got Haley's buck packed down this steep, slippery slope. It's very, very steep, very slick. Some of us had micro spikes, some didn't. The guys with micro spikes were pretty happy. Um, so we got it back down here. There's nowhere to hang anything down here. There's no trees up in this alpine. So we contractor bagged all the meat and tossed it out into the lake for the night. And that's gonna have to do. That's all we can do here. So um, just keep it cold and hopefully keep the brown bears off it. And it is 1.30, I believe. So yeah. it was a good, nice night hike out of here. Everybody got their money's worth today, but I'm just going to get this tied up and uh, go get some sleep. Well, we've had an interesting first day. We started out with a, a real bang. There's not many hunts that we do that the first day is that action-packed and kind of weird. But uh, got Paley's deer in last night covered the meet up with rocks this morning and uh, just kind of woke up late taking it easy a lot of these bucks we saw yesterday are bedded in the same place that they were so these deer are not too scared that we're here so we're just collecting firewood while we've got this awesome sunshine which is rare for this area but taking advantage and just getting some firewood in preparation for <laughs> some rainstorms and drying our gear out because the dew sets very heavy here Last night we were on our way down the hill and everyone was falling. Everyone but Lampers, of course. I was slipping and sliding all over the place. But beautiful day and something tells me we might get on another deer later this afternoon. Spoiled. Smart. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> Don't be a hater. Recovered from last night's pack out. Kind of glassed around our basin here quite a bit. Saw multiple bucks, but nothing really mature yet. And we saw a couple of forkies with guy guards, but um, it's been pretty warm today, so we kind of gave it a break. We're bombing up now to this ridge. We're going to be on the backside of where we saw a bunch of bucks last night after Paley took her buck. So the plan is, is to get up here and spend a handful of hours just glassing and seeing some new terrain that we couldn't see from our base camp down here by the lake. We can see a lot from here, but we just haven't turned up any real mature bucks. So I'm gonna keep pushing and look at some new stuff and uh, probably come back in the dark again, hopefully with a couple bucks in tow. <sighs> right, Dalton? That's 68 degrees. <laughs> Man, the thing is so handy. It is. It's super handy. Can't believe it. We 
go up this little thing and then we sidestep it all the way to the top. I don't know how straight up is sometimes. Side hilling in that much vertical. Yeah. It's not usually a good idea. You confident with that plan? Yeah, you could go up that, but maybe instead of like sidestepping it, you kind of side hill it up. Instead of sidestepping, we side hill it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you side hill it without sidestepping? So, you kind of go, not, kind of go in like a, <laughs> sideways, in like a this like a line when you're fashion. hiking up, not. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I follow. I think I last year drained drain the brain. <laughs> Just show us, show us what what you're thinking. So, if you go up, no, no, no talky talk. No walkie talk. Walk. talk. Yeah, do the walkie walk. <laughs> Crush it. Well, Crush it. There's deer over there. Big old buck deer. I saw a couple of good bucks yesterday, but then Bailey's jumped out, so we went for a, that one. It was a lot, a lot bigger. Just got over here, peeked down here. There's a stud bedded up in the grass. He's got nice eye guards. He's got a three on his right side and two on his left. So Tabitha and Dalton are going to back over this ridge, shoot over, try to get in nice and close. Shot. Bailey and I are going to sit back here and watch the scene play out, but it's a good buck. Just wait, just hold right on them. Just wait. Just hold on. You want the one in the front? Yeah, I'm on him. Okay, just wait till he stops. They might get out of. Hold on. Wait. No shot. 
Let's huh? find him. Yeah, just wait. There's the one in the back the same size. Just, just wait. The one in the front's the bigger one. Okay. They're at 220. Am I good? It's dulled right on him. Just, just wait, just wait. Oh, just hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. We got him. Yeah. Reload. Reload. Just wait. Okay, he's going down right there. He's down. Yes. Good job. Let's see if we can get that one in the back. Good shot. There's two bucks. Just wait. Okay, here we go. What? Here we go. Go. Nice. Got him. He's down. Yep, he's down. Good job. I just got two. Two bucks. We don't even know if that one's up there or not. But... Yeah, this one might. He might just go down under more cover. We might get another crack at him for Ryan. Good deal. Good job. It's no gimme, I'll tell you that. He's in a tough spot. He's like right over that hill. Yeah. He's in right over there. Like right still over that hill. Him. Yeah, he's still bad. Were you able to get them on the long lens? <laughs> no, we had no idea. We, we had it on that one. I was trying to like. Oh, I couldn't see. I was trying to like. Pull. We were watching. We're like, did she miss? As soon as we got up there, I looked over. We were gonna drop packs. Yeah. Right here. But I looked over and there was four of them bedded right there, and there was two decent ones. That's cool. One good one. That big old fork at the end, the yeah. second one, that's the only one we saw. Yeah. That was a, that was a tanker. Her, she shot hers out there. Okay. And it dove off into that little ravine and died. And then mine, you can see its white belly sticking out there. Oh, we saw that one. Okay. Yeah, that one I shot in the back. But I figured with these right here, he's probably going to hang tight. He's still bedded there. I wanted to give you a crack at him. So you can shoot the nicer one. <laughs> yeah, we clicked on him like a couple times, dry firing. We were just waiting for the boom. He just stayed there. He's just like this in the hole. This knoll right here is really close. Yeah, he's tight. There. It's like really close. This is gonna be a a feat to do this on camera. And I know that close.
focus the wind. We're going to be right on him. He's not going to be able to see over that grass. That's a nice bug. That's cool. Nice and heavy. That's the first three by three we've seen. on camera. Golly. Got it. Three bucks. Within like 30 minutes. That was cool. He only went like 20 yards. <laughs> I thought he got past us here, but I didn't go anywhere. Cool buck, mature buck. Nice buck. Got him. Good. <laughs> up close and personal, huh? Up close, man. He was looking right at us. Did he jump up? He got up. He was just right here. And we couldn't, you know, the grass is so tall on this roller. Did you freehand him? No. I got down on the grass and shot through the grass. So I didn't have a real good look, but he was really close. Good. So, I figured he was going to bolt any second. We couldn't come above him because the wind was just yeah. pushing him down. <laughs> nice heavy horns. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's good. He's laid it out up here. He's got big magnets too. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Uh huh. Heck yeah. Well, see, that's why we, uh, that's why we shot those. Because I really wanted you to have a chance at this one. So. Mm. You know, I was Thank just you. thinking of thinking of you. <laughs> so appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you hit it? Well, I only had this shot. He was quartering, so I put it here and it came out right there. Oh, okay. Did it drop? There? He was like 
right here, so you just race down and tumble. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think he was bedded like right on this little slope. Three bucks in like 30 minutes. Yeah, you can see Tabitha's from this angle. It's right in that creek. Yeah. And then mine's up on the left on the hill. Yeah. We were, uh, we spotted a deer up once we crested this ridge here and uh, we were trying to go after it up over where they spotted it and then as we were running across we saw several deer in a little group and they were good shooters and we decided that uh, we wanted to take them so we did dumped him at 250 and here he is nice. so I'm pretty excited it's been a good hunt this was in the back of the group of that uh, group of four bucks that was bedded down below us as we were making a stock on one and uh, Tabitha shot the first one at a few more points and this guy was picking up the rear so uh, figured don't pass up on one that we know we can get a shot on so made a quick shot about 350 and he went right down so nice buck in velvet heavy antlers and nice frame to him good eye guards too so yeah making it count we're earning these deer after today's climb we've put uh, put a lot of time on the hill today and it feels good to put a few more in the game bags go home heavy yeah excited we're beginning what's going to be a long night of packing out of this very steep country so it's always fun Always fun doing night back outs. Howdy folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed that film. Um, we had a ton of fun making it. Uh, before I talk about it and get into that, I wanted to announce two giveaways for this film. Um, the first giveaway is we are gonna give away this Initial Ascent 8K backpack right here, <clears throat> as well as our new glassing pads that fit nicely on the back holding orange on one side whatever color you want on the other side um, so we're going to do that by sending you to our stealthyhunter.com store and every ten dollars gets you an entry so if you purchase one of these glassing pads that's going to get you entered five that's going to give you five entries uh, you purchase one of our rifle covers that's going to give you ten entries and then we got supplements and all the other things on there. But we're going to run this for two weeks. <clears throat> so again, every $10 spent at the Stealthy Store gets you entered to win this really nice 8K Initial Ascent pack and the glassing cover. Second giveaway is uh, if you like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this film, uh, you're going to be entered to win a set of... Vortex just came out with some new eyewear. It's the Jackal or the Banshee. I got two models. Um, I think you get to pick whatever lens color you want or whatever. Um, but they're pretty nice. Been running them a little bit. Uh, and 
And uh, if we pick, we're going to pick two comments out of the section. It's going to be our favorite comment, um, just whatever comment makes us laugh or makes us cry, makes us hate you, makes us love you, whatever. Uh, we're going to pick that one out, and then we're just going to do a total scroll random um, comment that whatever we pick first, you're going to get the other set. So outside of those two giveaways, I wanted to talk about the film a little bit. As you saw, we had um, about as good a weather as you could ever imagine on a trip to Alaska. Definitely not expected. We were kind of assuming the worst, but we got the best that you could absolutely imagine in, um, in Alaska. So now we were prepared. Obviously you saw us getting a bunch of wood, gathering it up, ready for the storm, which we were expecting in a couple of days. It just never happened. And, uh, we actually spent the entire time without getting any rain, um, until the day we flew out of there and that was it. So we lucked out on that one. It couldn't have gone any better but one heck of a trip all around. It's, it's one of those trips where I don't know that I even want to do it again because I feel like it went so well that the next trip that we go up there is going to be a letdown because it couldn't have gone any better. So um, first off, I wanted to thank Dalton Gray and his wife, Tabitha. Um, these guys are really cool, really fun to hunt with. Dalton's become a good friend. Like I said in the film, um, Brian Call and I were up in Alaska on our moose hunt the, the prior year, and we just reached out on social. We're like, hey, we're in town. We got an extra night, and uh, we're going to go grab some food if anybody's around. Uh, and yeah, if you guys showed up, Dalton was one of them. And we had a great conversation, learned a little bit about him and his plans. And uh, at that time, they were kind of planning on launching a podcast, All Things Alaska, and they've been doing that for a while now. They've got quite a few episodes. It's called the Northern Hunter Podcast. I listen to every single episode. I think they're great. It's very detailed. They do a great job. They do their homework. It's, it's um, much better than I could ever do as far as knocking out podcasts. Everything from you know bear baiting in Alaska to caribou, moose. If you ever have plans on going to Alaska and doing a, a DIY hunt or an outfitted hunt, you should start listening to the Northern Hunter podcast. It's really good. It's got a lot of good information in it. So outside of that, <clears throat> um, like you saw in there, it was myself, my daughter, Paley, Kayam, and, uh, and Dalton and Tabitha. And we had one heck of a hunt. And what you guys saw is the first episode. We've got another episode coming out where um, we had more success, if you can believe it or not. You know, this film, this first one we had four animals that we took down and uh and that was like it didn't take us very long the spot was just absolutely gold we were seeing a ton of deer the country was amazing um we had some bears you know around to look at here and there they'd, they'd kind of pop up here and just crest a ridge so we didn't get a lot of camera on them at that time the next film i think you'll see a little bit more um grizz footage but um Overall, like I said, I don't think it could have gone any better and real unique, a unique trip that my daughter and I will never forget. Um, you saw her shot. I want to talk about that a little bit. So, you know, with Paley, I'm always like very encouraging with her shooting and she makes great shots. But you'll notice in that you, you could probably see it might have been a scotch low. Um, just the, the, the way the angle was on that deer, you know, so she hit mid body which is exactly where I tell her to, to hit. But the deer was down a little bit from us, so it came out low and uh, it didn't punch straight through the lungs on the other side. I mean, a lethal shot and the deer was just above this glacier lake and it just ran right down and hopped in it like you saw there and uh, died right in the middle. It couldn't have actually died any further from any shoreline around the edge than it did. And so at that point, we were kind of bummed out, <clears throat> scratching our heads. And I was like, man, nobody really wants to go in. It is cold. Um, there's still a lot of ice on this, this lake. And so I raced down, back down to the bottom, grabbed the rod, came back up, did the thing. Um, 
Kayim was gracious in his edit. I think he only showed about 20 casts. There was probably more like 50 casts to hook that thing. The problem was we couldn't see. Uh, we were like trying to shine our lights out there and I was just like air ball after air ball winging it out there. And finally I got lucky and got him right in the lip. So that was cool. A real unique um, experience to get her first buck, her first blacktail buck and her first Alaska animal that way. So definitely something she'll always, always remember. Um, and so outside of that, I think, I think uh, the film kind of showed off the rest. And uh, we'll have a lot more to say after we wrap, this, uh, wrap up this film in the next episode, episode two. Uh, there's a heck of a lot more action coming. So like I said, hope you enjoyed the first one. Stay tuned for episode two.